Which pair of atoms would form a bond where the polarity is directed towards the first atom? A. Carbon and carbon. B. Hydrogen and fluorine. C. Oxygen and carbon. Or D. Iodine and chlorine. Polar covalent bonding refers to an unequal sharing of electrons. Polarity refers to the extent that the sharing is unequal. The polarity is said to be directed toward the more electronegative atom. This question is asking for a pair of atoms where the polarity is directed towards the first one. Therefore, we need to find the pair where the first atom is more electronegative than the second. Obviously, choice A is wrong. There is no reason why electrons would prefer one carbon atom over another. Two carbon atoms have the same electronegativity. Electrons would be shared equally between these two atoms and the bond is called a pure covalent bond. Choice B is also wrong. You should know that fluorine is the most electronegative atom. So between hydrogen and fluorine, the polarity would be directed towards fluorine. Choice C is correct. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. Both elements are in the second period of the periodic table. Oxygen is further to the right, and the trend in electronegativity from left to right is increasing. Choice D is wrong. Chlorine and iodine both belong to group 7A. Electronegativity increases going up a column. Iodine is below chlorine. Iodine is in period 5, while chlorine is in period 3. We can represent the polarity of the hydrogen fluorine, oxygen carbon, and iodine chlorine bonds using the following diagrams. Note that the arrows are drawn pointing towards the more electronegative atom. It's good to remember that the trend in electronegativity is increasing towards fluorine. It's increasing from left to right across a row. So we can see that carbon is less electronegative than oxygen. It's increasing going up a group as well. So iodine is less electronegative than chlorine. In some cases, just knowing the general trend in electronegativities may not be enough to determine which element is more electronegative. In such cases, you can look up electronegativity values. You should be able to find these in your textbook or from the internet. The most electronegative element is fluorine, with a value of 4.0 on the Pauling scale. Fluorine is followed by oxygen with 3.4. Next is chlorine with 3.2. Then nitrogen and bromine have 3.0. And iodine follows with 2.7. Sulfur and selenium both have 2.6. Carbon is right with 2.5. Next would be phosphorus, arsenic, and hydrogen, which isn't shown here, which all have an electronegativity of 2.2. Although you're not expected to memorize these numbers, you should at least memorize the sequence so that you can predict bond polarities.